Hello. Welcome to another Little Guys Desk Cast. My name is Tom. I'm with the Little Guys, and we're going to do a little recap of the Cedia convention that happened last week that I went and visited out in Denver, Colorado. And if you don't know what Cedia is, it is a uh, organization of uh, dealers and installers like the Little Guys that focus on the uh, home and commercial markets of audio, video, lighting, shading, and control. Um, it's a little different than the Consumer Electronics Show, as that encompasses anything electronic, including like blenders and hair dryers and toasters and car stereos. This is focused on audio, video for home business, uh, like I said, lighting, shading, and control. So we're going to just give you a quick uh, overview of the things that caught my attention. There's way too many things there to do uh, highlights of the entire show. So these are the things that I thought were cool, and hopefully you'll think they're cool too. So uh, let's jump right in. First, you can see here, that's the picture of the convention center and the big blue bear looking in. Beautiful place. If you haven't visited Denver, I definitely recommend going there. I've been there several times. Uh, and if you can get out there, you definitely want to go out and see the scenery. There's a picture from the top of Pikes Peak, which is just a couple hour uh, trip away from Denver. Um, just beautiful, beautiful territory. All right, let's jump right in. And... First, we have here in our category to look at is, uh, well, everybody was talking 8K. A few vendors showed some 8K. And the one that caught my eye was from LG. This is the 88-inch LG uh, OLED uh, 8K. And they were actually showing native 8K material. That's what you see there on the picture. And it, just breathtaking. The, the, there's no way you could take a picture of this and do justice of it. You had to be there to see it. The, the depth and the detail and the color depth is amazing. You can see that's actually, uh, they're flying over uh, uh, New York there. And when you look down in the picture, when you're, when you're close to TV, you can see the people walking on the ground, the color of their outfits, the textures. It's just breathtaking how good it is. Um, so it's probably one of the best, if not the best images I've ever seen. So 8K is definitely going to be ramping up. You're going to be seeing that. Uh, and... The LG was definitely a standout. You can see there in the picture it won a bunch of awards at the show. So that was pretty cool. Uh, let's move on to the extremely cool. And what we have here is the Transformer from Stealth Acoustics. So this is actually developed out of the luxury yacht market, but they realize that there's a market for it in uh, residential uh, AV and some commercial AV. So if you look here, this is a 120-inch direct view LED screen that folds in half, it motorizes up into that box, and then the lid closes, making it a completely weather-tight enclosure. So this is for outside. Throw it on your deck, your patio, out in the backyard by the fire. And it's not just the TV. There's a full 3.1 surround system in there. Well, it's not surround 3.1, but sound system. A left, center, right, and subwoofer. And it is not like a little tiny thin sounding thing it is massive sound coming out of this and the whole piece comes assembled as is with electronics as a receiver a, a blu-ray player um, everything you need it's turnkey you, you pop your movie in and go uh, just outstanding the brightness of that screen is killer you, you could watch that in just about full daylight no matter where you're at you can see how bright it is in that picture that's inside of the convention center and the lights are full on and you can see the camera had the dim the iris still just to be able to get some some picture on that this is going to be the only piece i talk about price on because people are going to say well how much is that um this is not your little 79 nine dollar boom box this piece is one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars. but like i said it's complete drop in place unit and you're good to go it's a full sound system 120 inch direct view led motorized fully weather enclosed when it's closed up so really really cool and uh I, probably a lot of places this could be thrown in really simply and when you compare the cost of doing something to this level outside it's actually pretty pretty cost com price competitive for for doing what it does because to create this you could spend almost that much just on the mechanism and screen and not have the audio so this is actually a, a pretty good deal um yes i know it's a big ticket item i'm sure the comments will will uh will, will have people talking about that but that's okay Let's move on to another really, really cool outdoor thing. I'm going to try and play this video for you. Hopefully the computer doesn't glitch on me. So this is from Future. And here we go. 
yes, the speakers popped up out of the columns, and the TV. Just bear with the little glitches there. That's not the video. That's the computer having a little hard time playing it. So, um, so there. And I didn't I didn't record the whole thing, but the actual base of that actually comes up and makes it a flush deck in front of the monitor. So, now that, this is not an actual thing you buy. They make the mechanism. So this is just an example of what they could do. So if you have uh, any kind of an idea of something like this, they can make it happen. It's future automation. We've actually featured them on some projects. Uh, we did a video not long ago with them. Uh, they made a, a really, really large projector lift for us, or drop for us. Um, so this is uh, one of the many things they can do. Very, very cool technology. Moving along, our friends at Origin Acoustics have a bunch of new items. Um, They've had these speakers already. These are the Bollards, Bollard speakers, but the Bollards have been upgraded with a lighting option. So you can see that those round cylinders are actually speakers, and the lights have been added on top if you want lighting. A uh, cool thing about those is the lights are actually designed at a particular height that they don't cast a shadow. So there's no shadow around the base of the, the speaker. It, the light comes all the way down the way it's designed. So it's really, really elegant looking when you put it in your outdoor landscape. Uh, they've also introduced another size of bollards, so you can see they come in square, and now they have bigger ones that are square. What you don't see in the picture here is below the gravel, there's actually a subwoofer. It's part of the speaker, so you actually dig a hole to put that speaker in. And the part that sticks out of the top is your mid-range and your tweeter. The woofer size subwoofer is underneath, and it gets uh, vented up through the speaker assembly, um, but you don't see it. So it makes for a nice compact look, but a really, really full sound for outside. Also from Origin, their new pendant style speakers. So they look a lot like light fixtures, but they are actually pendant speakers, and it's a cool design. Uh, you can get them in the three sizes you see, starting from right to left. Uh, it's four inch, six inch, eight inch, and then there's a subwoofer, which is the one to the left you see there. Uh, 70 volt or eight ohms, so they could be used in commercial purposes or residential purposes. And they hang with a cable. The cable comes with them. So and I don't remember exactly how long it was, but you could I think it was like around an 8 or 10 foot cable. So you could hang them pretty far if you needed to. It's also something you could, if you needed to customize and put a bigger cable on, you could. So very, very cool from Origin Acoustics on that. One last thing from Origin for our commercial clients particularly. Uh, fully steel enclosed uh, in-ceiling speakers. So these are full fire rated. Uh, there's a conduit fitting on them, so you have to, if you have to have your speaker wire through conduit right to the speaker, you can do that with these speakers. Another advantage of having a fully enclosed speaker is you have very consistent sound. Um, you can you will have from one speaker to the next will be consistent. Whereas if you don't have a back on them, if you have a different ceiling height behind them or a different ceiling space behind them, it can change the sound of the speaker. When they're fully enclosed, it'll be consistent throughout the entire space. So another great option again, 70 ohms or 8 ohms. Uh, 70 volts or 8 ohms, either way. So commercial or residential, if you need to have, if there's a code requirement where it needs to be fully enclosed, especially in like the city or an MDU, that option exists from Origin uh, speakers, Origin Acoustics. We'll go over to another one of our speaker partners. Uh, this is again out of the more commercial line, but there could be possible uses in the residentials. The black box on the floor there doesn't look very exciting. Well, that's actually a subwoofer. It's a 70 volt subwoofer. It's a passive subwoofer. You need an amplifier to run it, but it has a 300 watt transformer on it, so you could run a lot of power to it, and it really, really does a good job filling in low end. One of the criticisms of 70 volt audio systems is the fact that they can sometimes sound a little thin uh, due to the transformers kind of knocking off some of the bass. Well, they use a particular transformer that actually can get you a full range sound, and it's designed to be a subwoofer, so it fills in that bottom end. So even on the show floor, it was doing a really, really good job of making it a good full uh, deep bass sound. A lot of lines of speakers. This is from our friends at Klipsch. They're what they call a feeder bar. Um, it's a, it's not a sound bar in particular, it's a speaker bar. So there's a left center and right speaker in there. It's not powered, so you still use a receiver or some electronics to run it. But you can see it's designed in the Clips Heritage style. So it matches like the Lascalas and the uh, Corner Horns and the Heresies and the Fortes, all the classic heritage lines. That styling wrapped into a, a sound bar for underneath your TV. Great performance, it's Clips sound. You can see by the little mock-ups underneath the little models, they have different colors and styles to pick from. So whatever suits your taste. So if you're looking for that kind of vintage Letro Rook to go underneath your TV, uh, this is a great choice. 
Moving along in some electronics. Hang on here. There we go. NAD has started the revamp of their receiver lines. Very excited. This is the T778. So this is a full Dolby Atmos 7.1 uh, receiver. The front display there is actually an LED screen. So those view meters dance up and down with the LED, with your sound, uh, giving you sound level. Really, really clean look. All the latest features you'd want on a receiver. And uh, just as the start of uh, them revamping a whole line of receivers. So this is very exciting. We love the way NAD receivers sound. Um, they're catching up on some of the features, so this is definitely one to watch out for. will be available pretty soon. I should say that about a lot of these, some of these things we talk about are available now. Some things are not. Just check with us, and we can tell you what, what is or isn't. Because a lot of times these shows, they'll even have things that are prototypes that are nobody nobody may ever see. They're just kind of fly, It's like a prototype car at the auto show. They're just floating ideas to see how the reaction is. One quick note about NAD. Uh, they're also... So NAD is owned by a company called Lenbrook. Lenbrook also owns Blue Sound. You hear us talk about Blue Sound all the time. Yesterday, Blue Sound released a firmware upgrade for their players to accommodate the new Amazon HD music service. Um, I fully encourage anybody who's using Amazon for music to to go ahead and upgrade to that service. There's a free trial, and I I don't remember the exact pricing. I want to say it was around 12 bucks a month or something like that. Well worth it because you get CD quality sound again. No more compressed crummy sounding mp3s coming from them it could be very good sound quality and especially when you're playing through blue sound so they were one of the very first manufacturers that had the feature set amazon really rolled it out two days ago blue sound rolled out their upgrade yesterday so if you're already a blue sound owner and you use amazon go do your upgrade and you'll be all set moving on the control here's another video for you so what you're looking at here is what savant one of our uh, prime control lines is calling uh, their companion dim uh, so these go into a breaker panel and I'll give you an example here so the video is what you saw on the right that's all the companions in a separate breaker panel the left has the actual breakers so what that is is it's actually multiple things a it's energy management so you can see exactly what energy you're using real time through your app right on your phone or your tablet or whatever um, you could even just walk up to the breaker panel and see what's drawing electricity. You know, we really are trying to make a push to be conserve and reduce our energy usage. How can you do it if you don't know what you're using? So this is a great way to know what you're using. You may find out with these in your homes that, wow, that second bedroom, for some reason, using a lot of electricity compared to everybody else. And you go in there and you find maybe a couple old chargers plugged in behind the bed you forgot about that are just drawing electricity and running your bill up for no reason. Um, so that's one of the cool things about this. The second thing is it's also your lighting or load control. So this becomes your electronic dimmer or switch for in the wall. So instead of changing out the switches in the wall or even having a switch in the wall in the first place for your lights, your lights can wire right back to this and it can be completely controlled through the automation system. Very, very cool. Pricing on this is actually right there in line with just replacing the dimmers, but then you get the energy management on top. So it's actually a better deal than doing that. I would definitely recommend this. You don't have to have a separate panel. You'll see here, it could be mixed and matched into a regular breaker panel, depending on how many loads you have and how many breaker slots you have. Here's another example in a smaller panel where they've mixed in with some breakers. So we can really design your, what we'll call your inside your home energy grid to be efficient and something you can control and monitor. If you have a backup generator, you can use this as a transfer switch without having uh, a separate transfer switch for just the loads you want. So you have your main transfer switch for the whole panel, but then you can tell the automation system, hey, when I go on the, tra uh, the generator, I don't want these circuits on because I don't want to waste the generator power. And it will automatically turn off those loads for you. No intervention required in your part. You can just do it right there. Uh, so very, very cool from Savant. Also from Savant, they have two new handheld remotes that are coming. Uh, this new one you can see is a really nice form factor, fits in the palm of your hand, gives you cursor controls and transport controls with hard buttons, and then the screen does everything else. The next one, which will be a little after that, gives you the number buttons as hard buttons besides the cursor and the transport controls, and this still has a touch screen at the top so you can uh, get access to the rest of your uh, buttons and whatever else you need for control. Savant, by far, hands down, has the nicest user interface of all the control systems. They have plenty of competitive uh, solutions, so it's not necessarily they're more expensive for that uh, better experience, 
Um, but it's just really, really overall great solution. They have a lot of product to make it seamless and work well together. All right, one more thing before we wrap this up here. We're just about out of time. Here's a little eye candy for you because we always got to have a little bit of eye candy from the show. Macintosh. So this is the MA352. This is an integrated amplifier and just got to take it in. It's just breathtaking. It's beautiful. Chrome chassis. Big, uh, the big Macintosh, tra Mac I can't talk. Macintosh transformers. Two preamps. Just gorgeous. Has analog, balanced and unbalanced, and digital inputs. Really, really sweet piece. Uh, it just came out from them recently. It's just gorgeous. So if you, we all know Macintosh. There's nothing that sounds like a Mac. So if you're into it and you're in the market for looking for a new uh, integrated amp, don't look any further. This is the one. It just It's a statement piece, and it sounds just phenomenal. So that wraps up the highlights uh, from the CDA 2019 show. Obviously, there's way more from a lot of different manufacturers. Come by and see us, and we can talk about more in person if you uh, are curious. Uh, little guys, 9700-197. That's in Mokina. Uh, very easy to get to. Take I-80 to LaGrange. Go south, about a mile and a half. Make a right on 197th. You can call us, 708-754-8844. When you visit us, we are here Monday through Friday, 9 until 5. And then by appointments if needed other, other times. Also check out uh, Facebook slash The Little Guys. And we're also on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, but Facebook is where you'll see most of our announcements come through. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to email us, info at thelittleguys.com. All right, until next time, we thank you for watching our little uh, CDA wrap-up show here. And we will uh, catch you next time.